Once again, he has slipped away with no one noticing. Click. This time, with a transistor radio and an antique butter knife. In a corner, he pops off the radio's face, unswivels screws, and bends wires sideways. Slowly, he thumbs the textured dials, cycles through imaginary stations, then plucks and tosses the chips to the heap. He cracks off a door hinge and out tumble batteries. More metallic cubes to be scrutinized. He's seen a man test things with his teeth, so he does a bit of thoughtful chewing. Maybe he's got a mouthful of gold, and he's testing the hardness of rubies. Maybe he's a master diamond cutter, living deep in a mine. A place so dark people have to carry lanterns to see even a few feet in front. Where people have to light matches to see his furrowed face. He would like that. Someone's coming. He yanks the springs out. Tucks a silver square in his back pant pocket. And leaves another cluster of parts on the floor.